if you do not have these essentials, then you are not a Christian. What's up guys, it's me, Guy Vaz here with another video, and I want to get straight into it. You might be a young Christian, and you want to know, well, I'm a Christian, what am I supposed to believe in? And well, this video is for you. These are five things that you should believe in as a Christian. Now, these are essentials, meaning these are necessary to believe in. If you do not believe in these five things, then, well, guess what? You're not a brother, you're not a sister in Christ. So let's get into this. The first thing that you as a Christian should believe in is the Trinity. Now, you might say, well, what is the Trinity? To give you a simple example is we are monotheistic, right? Christians, the Christian religion is a monotheistic religion. We believe in one God who is in three distinct persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now, you might say, well, how does that work? Well, let's look into scripture. So if you look into scripture in Matthew 28, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says that we must baptize new believers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As well, when we see in Genesis 1, when God is creating the universe, the Hebrew word for God is Elohim. And what is Elohim? Well, Elohim is used as plural. It's a plural word for God. So right even in the beginning, since the creation of Genesis, since creation, there was always three. There was God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. These are three co-equal and co-eternal persons. They were always there from the beginning of time. They will always be eternal. They will always be co-equal. And they will always be together. Just because God is one God as three distinct persons is something we just can't fathom. It's a mystery. This is just something that God has revealed himself to us as humans. We may not be able to fathom it, but it's just something that we have concluded because God has revealed this to all of humanity that he is three in one. So, yes, the Trinity is an essential doctrine and you must get the Trinity right. This is something that we as Christians all believe in. Now, the second thing that Christians should believe in is knowing who Jesus is. Jesus is a hundred percent human, but also a hundred percent God. When we see in Hebrews 2, it talks about how Jesus, well, came as a human. He is human. But also when we see in John 1, we, John is talking about how the Word was made flesh and the Word was God. Well, he's talking about Jesus, that the Word, the Logos, is God, which is Jesus. So Jesus being a human, but also being God, is something that we must understand. Jesus was not a created being. Jesus was always eternal. Again, the Trinity, remember, he was always always here he was always since the creation event he was always there and he will always be god now again this is a essential doctrine this is something we must believe in you can't get this wrong and throughout church history this is something of a battle and a theological battle of understanding the nature of jesus jesus has a human nature and also a divine nature 100 percent god 100 percent human these things cannot be mixing but these can things can't be fully separate they are all existing in one body right in one which is in Jesus, but these things are, again, distinct in the sense of this is 100% divine and 100% human. And we must understand that, that Jesus is 100% God, 100% human. And if you get that wrong, if you say, no, he's 50-50, or no, he's only 100% God, or no, he's only 100% human, and later given the title of God, I'm sorry, you are participating in heresy. 
Now this is number three, which is the literal virgin birth and the literal resurrection. Now, you as a Christian need to understand that Jesus was birth of the Virgin Mary. He was not birth from a man going and lying with Mary. The Holy Spirit planted the seed in Mary and there was no human father that, gave, that went and laid with Mary. Because if a human father laid with Mary and gave birth to Jesus, then well, guess what? Jesus is just not God. He would only be a human. And again, with the resurrection, this is the linchpin of Christianity. If Jesus did not die and resurrect on the third day, then Christianity is just, well, nothing. It's just a false religion. It's something that we shouldn't even believe in. Paul talks about this in 1 Corinthians 15, that this is something that, well, if the resurrection didn't happen, then all this is in vain. That's why the resurrection is something we must believe in, is an essential to our faith. Now, the fourth thing that you must believe in as a Christian is the Bible. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is you need to take the Bible seriously. You need to have the Bible as some sort of authority. Now, I do understand that not all Catholics and Orthodox and Protestants have the same view of the Bible, but they do understand one thing, that the Bible is holy, that the Bible is sacred, and that the Bible should be taken seriously. And Paul talks about this too. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, Paul is talking about how the scripture was breathed out by God and that there's something that we should take seriously. That's something that we should use for teaching, reproof, for rebuking, for doctrine. It's something that we should really consider in our lives and take in our, in our lives. So you should take the Bible seriously. You can't just say, oh, but the Bible says this and I just don't believe this in the Bible. I'm sorry to tell you, you must believe in all of the Bible. You must believe what the Bible teaches in order to be a Christian. Now, this is the fifth and final one, and that is having true faith. Look, guys, this is something extremely important as a Christian. If you're just following, you know, Christianity, Christ, the Bible, just because it sounds good, it's not something, you know, just because you're doing it just to do it based off just works or just based off something like, oh, it's a good thing to do. I really like doing it or all oh, these are this is just has good principles, good morals. I'm sorry to tell you, you're just not a Christian. You must have faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just as it says in Romans 10. Just like it says in Ephesians 2, 8, that you are saved by grace through faith alone, right? Not by your own doing, but it is a gift from God. Because if you don't have faith in God, well, guess what? You're not a Christian. Faith is something extremely important. And you might say, well, does that mean we just believe and that's it? No, that's not what I mean. If you look in James, James talks about how faith without works is dead. If you have true, genuine faith, you will do good works for Christ. Not because, you know, you want to get saved. It's because you love him. And if you don't put your faith in Jesus, and I'm sorry to tell you, you're not a Christian. Now, my, some people might say, well, you can't be a Christian and be, you know, a homosexual or you can't be a Christian and love abortion or something. Now, these things are true. A lot of the things that I said covers a lot of that. If you take scripture seriously as authoritative and as the word of God, then you know that you cannot be a practicing homosexual or you can't love abortion or want or say abortion is okay now maybe i didn't get in the nitty gritty of what you must must be or must believe in to be a christian but the things that i said covers a lot of it and the things that i said are extremely basic and extremely important you must believe in the essentials that i said here to be a christian and if you don't then please repent of your sins believe in the lord and savior jesus christ i just want to thank you all for this video thank you for everything you've done please like comment subscribe for more videos like this and as i always say at the end of my videos god bless and see you later